<laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Good early morning. It is 6.38 where I am right now. I hope everybody is feeling blessed and thankful for each and every day. I hope you're getting up, getting out, and getting something. I hope you're having fun and everything. And staying prayed up and blessed. This is a Mama Foxy Says. And I'm with your wallet, your purses, and your flacky books. Baby, your hearts and your minds. How y'all doing today? This is my little revolution palette that I'm working with. I'm working with this for my eyes. And this is the revolution cheek palette. And I'm working with this for my cheeks. And I'm going to try this. And this is the Profusion Eye Sparkler. Hello, everybody. Today is my first day um, getting ready to go get my first check in. I'm going to go in with this pretty, um, it's called chocolate right there. And I'm getting ready to go to my first doctor's appointment since surgery. And uh, I'm all right. I have, uh, usually I'm supposed to talk about this on the other channel. But I haven't been over there lately either. Um, I've been kind of sick. My body is rejecting or having a problem with certain things I eat or I drink. Um, and when I tell you it gets that way, oof, ain't no eating nothing uh, right now. You have to, to me, I stopped doing everything that I'm doing. I've got up, I've cleaned up, I've organized. Since I've had that surgery, I'm an organizer. <laughs> I've always have been one. I love to keep things organized and straight. But this, <laughs> you know, if you've had kids, you know how you get ready to have that, uh, how you get ready a little bit before your baby comes, you get this, this urge to just get everything clean. That's how I be. That's how I am right now. Right now, I'm going in with what you call a nude. It's this pretty color right there. And it's like, I'm getting ready. You know, I don't know what I'm getting ready for. But I have to be ready. <laughs> I want everything clean. I want to be organized. I want to be everything. It's just, it's important. So that's what it's looking like right now. But I want it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go in with what you call Swift. Swift. <laughs> but other than that, y'all, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm getting around like crazy. And it's wow. It's amazing. I'm loving it. I have no complaints. That's the only complaint I have. I wave. I, I got myself this um this um uh, scale. I got it from Five Below, and when I say the scale, it's tricky. <laughs> when I get on the scale. You have to play with it for a minute. I mean, literally, play with it for a minute in order for it to do right. I'm going to go in with this amber color. And that's this little dark chocolate looking color. You have to play with the scale for a minute. So, when I'm sitting on the toilet, I'm, I know this. I'm telling you, when I'm sitting on the toilet... I pull the scale out, right? I take the scale, 
And I act like, uh, I put my knees on it first, then I rest my stomach and my hands on it. I do that around four or five times. And the reason I do that is to see how many times it's going to come up with the same, um, with the same, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with the same something. With the same way in, right? So, that's how I do it. So, when I finally get on there, y'all, the first time I got on there, it said 280. I'm like, psh, psh. no, that's not right. That can't be right. So then, got back on there again. This time, when I got back on there before, I had my nightgown on and some socks and everything. I had one of that on. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me get back on there a second time. The second time I got back on there, I didn't have on anything. So then, the sucker say. It's a two, 289. I'm like, what? I'm telling you right now, I'm going through a bit with that skill. So then I just said, forget it. Pull the skill all the way out. And then it say some stuff like 280. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. so I'm going today to the doctor <laughs> to get weighed in. Um, they're going to check everything, vitals and stitching and all that stuff to make sure that everything is all right. I feel all right. I just, what the other day when I had like the dumping syndrome, yeah, I was in my office. I start stuff. And if I get too tired or my body be like, uh-uh, it's time for me to stop, I'll stop. I ain't going to keep doing. I'll stop completely. So, uh, I stopped. My body was like, okay, sister girl, shut it down. That's exactly what I did. I shut it down, baby. I was sitting on the floor. I'm going in now with this dynamite. I think that's what that's at. Di Diamantit. See it right here. Let me show you. It's right there. So, I'm sitting on the floor now. <laughs> My grandkids come in like, oh, granny, I'm sitting on the floor and I literally got my head on the chair and I'm leaning on the chair. My grandson said, granny, what's going on? I said, I just got tired all of a sudden. That was like my oldest grandson, one of my oldest grandsons. He's like, what's going on? What's happening? Do I need to call somebody? I say, no. Nope. Just let me sit here for a minute. Y'all, my reaction was, I was sweating. This was like five hours after I ate. I was sweating. I mean, I was sweating like crazy. And then, um, I just, I didn't have no energy. It's like all my energy was just gone. And I was like, okay. I can't, I can't, I don't want to leave the office. I hate to leave anything. And then you got to come back to it and redo it again. Uh, so I sat on this floor. I just didn't touch or move anything. I sat on the floor and rearranged everything. So, and I put everything away. So then when I finished doing all of that, I said, okay, I'm going to get up and go take a shower. I need to go lay down. I need to go do something. So I went and lay down. Fifteen minutes later, I start gagging. I'm like, oh. I'm like, mm -mm. So uh, I got real sick. Well, it lasted all day. When I woke up the next day, I was tired. I, was I couldn't believe how tired I was. So I spent all Monday, I spent all Monday in bed. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing but get ready to get up, get my stuff ready for today. That's all I did. I could not do anything else. So that's how my day was yesterday. That was 
Monday. I just, I couldn't even muster up enough energy to get up and make a video. I was like, this is crazy. But you guys, you know what? I'm here. That's the thing. I'm here. I don't have... I don't have no regrets about nothing. I don't. I could tell you one thing. I'm thankful for each and every day. I could tell you that. I can tell you how much I appreciate my mom and and my dad and all the things they went through <laughs> with with a kid, you know. I appreciate everything. I ain't let nothing slide. Because, baby, ain't nobody promised to be here. Nobody. I don't care what little, you know, this when mama started talking stuff. I don't care what type of shit you've been through with your mama, your daddy, whatever the case be, unless they were just some dirty, rotten. That's a whole nother story. But if they been there and y'all been fell through on something, Y'all better try to make bends. Because of the time. Right now. With everything that's going on right now. You got to be. You need your family. You want your family. You need your family by your side. So when these things. Whatever the things that's coming our way. Or headed our way. Is out there. We need to be ready. And I say the only way that you can be ready, ready, is if you got your family by your side. Y'all know this is, I use some my eyelashes. Baby, yes, yes, yes. So today is a get ready with me and a, uh, <laughs> a serious chat. But I'm going to say this thing. Sometimes y'all go through things in your life. This is for everybody. This is for you parents that got grown children. You uh, grandparents that got grown children. Uh, uh, or people that have people in their life that don't appreciate them. Or that are thankful that they have them. Baby. This go. This is for all of y'all. When you got somebody, may it be your child, may it be whoever. If you got somebody that don't appreciate you, that don't go that extra yard for you, that don't tell you, look at mama or daddy or whatever the case it is. I love you. I love you. I'm thankful for you. Uh, I appreciate you and show you love. Show your love, maybe your man, your husband, your... Sometimes, you don't know. You know in your heart that that person love you. But what's better than knowing is when somebody tell you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. When somebody tell you, when they take the time out to show you that you are everything to them. It can't go both ways. You can't not just be the mother or the dad, or the wife, or the girlfriend, auntie, whatever. You have to be. You want to. You you can't always be the one that's saying I'm loving you. You can't always be the one that's showing that affection or, or pushing to keep your relationship together. It has to be two people. When that kid is grown, it ain't nothing else you can do for that kid. If that kid ain't taking that time out, showing that appreciation. Or not trying to use you, not trying to make you feel less than the mother, the father, the daughter, the granddaughter, the auntie, whatever it is that you are. Then you know what I say? You gotta let it go. It's not that you don't love them, but you gotta love yourself a little bit more than it keeps getting stepped on. Mm-hmm. I had somebody ask me this the other day. What do they do? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm speaking from experience, baby. I ain't telling you something just to be 
They're ranting and raving. No, I'm telling you, period. Sometimes it's so hard when you love somebody, right? And you love them so much, but you keep forgetting about you. You keep forgetting. You keep forgetting that you are just as important as anybody else. Don't you sidetrack yourself. Ain't nobody showing you no love. Ain't nobody doing for you as you do unto them. Then baby, kid, whatever, whatever the case may be. Then until they open their eyes, the best thing for you to do is to live in frustration, depression, and all that shit up above will run you crazy. It's enough stuff going on already out here than to keep having you running yourself crazy baby so open your eyes appreciate who you are and know that you are worthy of being loved back honey you ain't gotta settle you ain't gotta you ain't gotta uh stand back get walked on stepped on unappreciated shit no no you don't what? So somebody can tell you something that, that, that that's gonna that's gonna hurt your feelings or make you feel even worse inside? No. Love you. Appreciate you. Be thankful for your God. Be thankful that you are here every day. I'm going with this beautiful Milana in your city. That's what I'm going with. But it's kind of dark a little bit. Or oh, sometimes it be too light. So this one right here I got is Believe. From um by the general. But the one thing of the thing broke on there. I couldn't stand in there. And I really like this formula. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of that. But y'all, everything is good here on Homestead. I've been I've been reading a lot of comments from different people, and I've been uh, I'll be asked some questions. Could I answer this, or what would I do? I, I speak from experience, baby, about what the things that I would do and what things that I wouldn't do, and I know I needed to get up. I got to get ready anyway for my doctor's appointment. I was like, why not get up and do some chit chat with my family? I asked some of these questions. Hmm? Uh, I will go into more detail about everything with this gastro, how I feel, everything. I would seriously go in more detail on my other channel. Uh, gorgeous grateful granny because that's what that channel is about this one right here that's my everything channel right here <laughs> we talk about everything over here so other than that I'm good I don't have no complaints my lord and savior y'all about anything I'm here I'm here and I'm feeling blessed every single day um i just have to say one more thing about this weight loss thing the only thing this right here is from aoa studios and this is their foundation and i like to use uh the amber yeah and i'm gonna tell y'all the only thing is when you losing the weight and how you start losing it is so weird to me. Now you guys know I am a gym shoe fanatic, okay? Y'all know that already, right? Yeah, I go to put my gym shoes on. The damn shoes too damn big. <laughs> I 
have been wearing an 11 ever since I got it in my late 20s. I promise the shoes are too bam, bam. I didn't say damn, I said bam. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Sitting. Y'all, I could not believe it. I'm like, what is going on with this? I was so tickled. I was like, this is a hot mess. But, <laughs> once again, you ain't got no time to complain, baby. You just got to have time to just be thankful. So, I'm thankful. But, I'm, uh, it feels so weird. Like, you know? That's the only thing. But other than that, I ain't rapping the real page about nothing. I feel I feel good. I'm just going back over y'all. Putting a little of that dimented, dimented or something like that on here. Just because I got the little, like little lash, the scarab on. And I cleaned up the sides. Y'all know that I am a fan, a fan of Revolution. Revolution London, and this is what this is. And this is the Precision Stone Rose Quartz. I love Revolution. I am not playing with you. Ain't no joke, ain't no joke. Ain't no joke, ain't no joke. But y'all, other than that, I do, I feel wonderful. I don't have no complaints about nothing. But what I want to go over is my face like this. Just to get it in. Y'all, that's... That's the morning traffic in the morning with the garbage man and everything. Y'all hear me out here doing his thing. Look at this beautiful, beautiful little face. Face is called the Revolution Cheek Kit. This is the Fresh Perspective. And I like that one since I'm wearing this golden brown. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. It looks so pretty. You probably can't see it like that. Uh, so let's see what we going. Let's try this pretty little angle brush right here. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Ooh, baby. You mm. didn't tell me nothing. I was talking to my mom. And when I tell you, my mama is beautiful. Honey, that lady. <laughs> but she been working all her life. All her life. And this is the first time that she's ever... She retired, right? And when I tell you that she bad, she bad. She make her own clothes. She do water that. I mean, like, literally, literally make her own clothes. And they look amazing on her. She is a little woman, very little. Not like she like Tina Turner little. Or she can put you, a lot of people tell me when I was younger, that my mom put them in the man of Tina Turner. And she did. The way she carried herself and everything. She still looked the same way. But since she been, oh, she's so bored. <laughs> she make it close. She was like, wow. I, she said, I just did not realize how hard it is just to stay in the house. <laughs> Girl. And I'm here to tell you. Yes, it is. 
it's hard as ever when you so used to being outside, when you so used to being around people and mingling and, and helping people out and all that stuff, and then turn around and you in the house? Mm. Baby, that's hard. So she fanning that so hard, and she was telling me about um, how she been going out lately, you know, with a little mask on, looking in the stores. I said, Mama, you got to keep busy. This this stuff right here, and being that you've been working forever, things like that, it'll, it'll mess with you. It'll mess with your body. It'll mess with your mind. It'll mess with all of that. So the best thing to do, baby, is to keep on moving. Don't, don't shut down. Don't stop doing. Don't stop. Y'all, I tell you, my mom, she worked for this company, but she would always have a food drive. This is how it looked with that being underneath. And this is by Profusion. She will always, always have some type of food drive or something. And she'll be taking care of everybody. The thing that my mom says, right? She says the reason that she did what she do or do what she do is because she got children and grandchildren, right? She said she will want somebody to do for her grandkids or her kids. That's the reason that she had food drives. That's the reason that she did so much. And she do so much. Mom, I love you. So appreciative and so proud of you and everything. She's like, but I just have my little comfortable jeans on. I said, mm, mm Don't start with that comfortable. But to me, y'all, once you start with that comfortable, you forget yourself. You forget what it's like to dress up and be beautiful. You forget, um... You know, when you getting up every day and you going somewhere, I'm going back in with a pretty darker color up under the eyes just to split a little bit of this up. See how I did that? Oh. Um, it's still there. I just darkened it. You see how it is compared to the other side? Yeah, that's all. And to me, That's what happened with me. I started getting big. I started relaxing. I started not worrying about. I'm always being. I feel like I'm always be a beautiful woman, but it's like you forget yourself. It's like you forget to uh to 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 be sexy or to not eat so much. When you comfortable. That's one thing that we failed that at that time. I feel that I let myself go when I start getting comfortable. When I start getting relaxed. That's how you let yourself go, baby. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't do that. Get up. Put on you some clothes. You ain't got to do it every single time. Not every single time, but you want to do it enough where you just don't forget who you are. You don't want to forget who you are. You don't want to forget the sexy part of you. You are already a woman or a beautiful woman or a handsome man or whatever the case may be. When it comes time to times like this with quarantine, when it comes times like you you retire or or anything, you forget. Don't forget y'all. Don't forget who you are. Don't get adjusted to not doing nothing. Don't get adjusted to not taking care of your 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 yourself or or going that extra I'm sexy type mode. Stay in that mode. Don't lose that mode. Because once you lose that mode, 
you lose everything. That's how it. That's how you get. That's how you get heavy or, or big. You lose that to me, and that's what happened to me. I got comfortable. I got adjusted with not working. I got adjusted with being a stay-at-home mom or a wife. I got my husband now. I don't need to go that little extra. Lord. Mm -mm. Don't you do that to yourself. Don't you do that to yourself, baby. Mm. Nope. Get up. Take that little extra shit. Put your little, put your little extra makeup on. Yep, put your little extra makeup on sometimes. Uh, it's for a man. Put that beautiful beard on, baby. Um, uh, take care of that beautiful beard. Just don't lose yourself. That's all. Y'all getting ready with me. Um, I'm loving my hair the way it is. But I feel like I need a little something different today. You know? Come with my little weight loss. My neck is tripping. Come with the little weight loss. I'm loving this. But I just need to go booyah. Or you know, like, hello. <laughs> Come That's what I feel like today. Hello. <laughs> hello, it's me. Roxy. <laughs> So, with that being said, this has been a long chit chat uh, video. I just know that sometimes we need a little something extra. And today was my day to give y'all a little something extra. So, I hope you guys liked it. I hope it wasn't too ranty. I hope it wasn't none of that. But that's how I felt today. Like, I needed to talk. And I felt like that's what I had to do. And that's what I did. So, uh, this is my makeup look for today. And I probably have another video with an outfit other day or something it's long enough this is 32 minutes of <laughs> ranting I'm sorry y'all but uh I just wanted to talk to y'all and tell y'all what's been going on but I love y'all I need to get up and start getting dressed my fragrance for today is called endless wonders and I got this from TJ Maxx a long time ago. I am loving it. this fragrance right here. That being so early in the morning, you don't want, I don't want to be too loud. I want to be right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And... You know I got to go in with some of the stars. And this is In the Stars. Diamond Shimmer Mist by Bath and Body Works. And I just put that on. I'm going to put on a little bit of this. And it's like a plump and serve. It gives my lips these little tingle that I need. Yeah, then that little tingle that I need. Oh, and I got one more thing to ask. Somebody had asked me a question. Um, because you know I do kind of talk Tuesday. Uh, they asked me, <laughs> do I miss marijuana? Um, I do. I do. Uh, but with everything that's going on with my body, I'm a scaredy kid. I'm. A, I don't play with. Um anything especially right now that's gonna make me see mm -mm. i don't play i ain't playing with it now oh, let me tell y'all one more thing and then i'm done i know y'all like mama damn you keep saying the same thing i'm almost done uh y'all saw me when i went and i bought these little uh nails you see them okay
these are like a matte color. I just put clear. You got a glitter and you got the uh, you got those right there. Y'all put the nails on like three o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. And my lame self, lame self. Finally, I took some melatonin. Melatonin, I think that's what it's called. But anyway, I took the melatonin. And my lame ass mom is in the bed and I'm getting ready for bed. And I'm feeling good. I'm relaxed. I ain't got no problems, no nothing. All the, and I took the lights out. I said, okay, it's time to go to bed. Y'all, when I took the light out, and I'm laying there and I'm dozing off. And you know how you swipe your face? This sucker glow in the dark. Mm. Look. It glow in the dark. And I was like, what the hell? But it's because it glows in the dark. Stupid. And I'll be back. <laughs>